Hey team, Brian Davis here, Coach BLD at BeachBodyCoach.com. Well, I just completed day three of uh, Body Beast in the build phase. Uh, worked on back and buys today. You know, it was kind of funny. I was uh, uh, working on my workout there, and um, I got to thinking because my mind wanders when I'm working out. Even though I'm, uh, you know, trying to learn the program, I still wander a little bit. You know, uh, all the guys I grew up with, you know, everybody, when they're younger, teenage years, you know, pump a little iron in the garage, you know, whatnot, or in the gym at school. You know, all my friends always worked on uh, biceps, you know, working on the biceps. You know, like Tony used to say in uh, P90X, you know, what do you, remember the bicep team, you know? Um, that's one thing I never did. Um, biceps weren't a big thing for me. Uh, I always struggled with uh, curls and, and form. And uh, just something that didn't come naturally to me. Um, over the years, I've always worked on uh, two areas I've always worked on. My traps. I like doing shrugs. Um, and I always worked on my uh, my uh, triceps. I did a lot of dips. I enjoyed dips. Uh, different types of dips. But uh, on and off through my life, uh, one of the things that I, I always maintain, because they're easy to do, is dips and shrugs. Shrugs are easy to do. You can do shrugs with a couple cans of soup if you wanted to, you know. It doesn't take a lot of weight to, to put a burn into your traps. Uh, same thing with dips. You can do dips on the edge of the toilet. You can do dips on the edge of the bathtub, on the edge of a kitchen chair, wherever. So those are those are two things that whether I owned weights or not, I always worked on was triceps and, and traps. Well, today we worked on buys and uh, hammer curls weren't bad. I enjoyed those. Uh, the other curls were bad. Um, just the easy bar curls just coming straight up. I really struggled with those, but I poured some weight on. I, I put some weight on and, and I definitely maxed out on, uh, on those. I definitely lifted to uh, failure as uh, Sagi talks about in his video, you know, lifting until failure. And that's where you're going to see the muscle grows is, is when you're, as I say, guys, just outside my comfort zone. And trust me, I was there today. Uh, Pull-ups. Thank goodness in the back routine in Body Beast, there's not a lot of pull-ups, at least not in the build phase. Uh, pull-ups, arch nemesis to mine. You show, you show me somebody that's good at pull-ups, I'll show you a freak of nature. Pull-ups are hard. I haven't met anyone yet that says they love pull-ups, with the exception of Tony Horton, and I haven't met him in person yet. Um, I don't like pull-ups. Uh, I did not get to where I needed to be on pull-ups tonight, even with a pull-up assist. Um, don't like them. I know I got to get good at them. If I want to build those lats up, um, I got to get good at them. And I figure I've got 90 days to get good at them. I still don't think I like them, but I got 90 days to get good at them. So with that, guys, I'm going to keep working just outside my comfort zone. I hope you're doing the same thing. I hope you're pressing yourself, striving to be better. Um, just, you know, do what you can, but try to work just outside that comfort zone, push yourself, but remember, it's do what you can and forget the rest. With that, guys, my name is Brian Davis, Coach BLD at BeachBodyCoach.com. I will keep you posted on how I'm doing. Have a good night, guys.